Buenos dias, gladiadores. Yo soy Jeremiah Jones. Y yo soy Spencer Walter. Y estos son las noticias de KWHS. Seniors, after today, you have one more full week of high school, so pencil in these important events on your calendar so you can be prepared for the rest of the month. Senior finals start on Monday, May 13th, with periods 5, 6, and 7. It is a full day schedule. Tuesday, May 14th, you'll take finals for periods 1 through 4, then lunch, and check out during 5th hour. You can leave campus after you complete your checkout, so get those conditions cleared early to avoid this long line. Wednesday, May 15th, is Senior Awards Night at 6 p.m. in the WHS Auditorium. Thursday, May 16th, is the Senior Breakfast at the Cheyenne Mountain Resort. Buy your tickets in the business office until May 10th. Tickets are $22 each and will not be available at the door. Friday, May 17th, is your grad walk. Meet in the Counseling Center at 10 a.m. to participate in the grad walk at Widefield Elementary. Otherwise, you must be here at noon in Bowers Gym for graduation practice. Saturday, May 18th, is your big day. Meet in the small gym at 7.30, and seniors, even though graduation starts at 9, you must be ready to go before then, so please be here early. This is not the day to be fashionably or any other kind of late. Underclassmen, exams for us begin on Monday, May 20th with periods 1, 2, and 3. It will be a full day, so please prepare. On Tuesday, May 21st, we'll have exams for periods 4 and 5 with an early release. And finally, on Wednesday, May 22nd, we'll have exams for periods 6 and 7 and another early release. If you've cleared your conditions, you are free to go and and start your summer. If not, prepare to wait in line. As exams get closer, if you need some support studying for exams, why not sign up in the library for a tutoring appointment with an NHS member? Those appointments are on Thursdays during advisory until finals week. Hey Glides, the library would like their books back. All books are due back to the library by today. Any unreturned books will go into Infinite Campus as a fee. For those of you who do return books this week, you will be entered to win one of 10 prize packages that include new books and summer activities. The library will start a new summer checkout program on May 15, but you must return all the books you currently have out to be able to participate. Y ahora nos vamos a los deportes con Isaac Fleet. Como se va, Isaac? Sports time! Bienvenidos a Viernes, Gladiores. Yo soy Isaac Fleet con los Depuertos. Glads, the dodgeball games are coming to a close at lunch today. We will have scores and winners for you on Monday. Congratulations to all dodgeball spectators who won prizes. In tennis news, our Lady Glads are headed to regionals today, but we wanted to know what makes this year's team so special. So we sat down with Madison Villers for her thoughts. I've been playing tennis since my freshman year here at Whitefield. Well, my sister played tennis and she was two years older than me, and so that kind of made me interested in playing. And then my freshman year, Cheyenne was like, hey, will you play tennis with me? And I was like, yeah, sure, why not? So that's honestly the real reason that I played. My name is Madison Villers. I am one singles on the tennis team and I am a co-captain. It'll be really interesting next year because with leaving 11 of the 12 people leaving, um, it will leave a lot of opportunities for girls to step up, I think, and really prove their positions next year. And I think it will leave also growth for a lot of the other girls on the JV squad to just really step up and shine and just really start playing some really, really good tennis. They've really improved a lot and they've had a really good season on JV, so I hope that next year they can just keep improving and keep playing some good tennis. And I think next year, will be a challenge, but I think it will be really good for them, and that in a couple years I'm really looking forward to how well they are. I would tell them just to enjoy every second of it because high school sports don't last that long, and now that they're kind of coming to a close for me, it's really a bittersweet moment, so I think that just enjoy every second, win or lose, practice or game, that it's a really unique experience you get to have with your teammates, and that to not waste it away, and not wish it away, and to just really embrace every moment that they get. Back-to-back -back league titles is so exciting. We're really, really, really pumped about that. And the magic, I don't really know. I think that we just have a lot of girls who like to work really hard and are just really motivated. And overall, we all really enjoy playing tennis. So I think that when you put those things together, they kind of become unstoppable. So it's just been really awesome 
to watch everyone put in so much hard work at practice and then just to get out there and play tennis. Um, our game days and just play as hard as we can and just try not to go down without a fight. So it's just been a really awesome experience and really, really fun to play with all of these girls. The team to be at regionals, so we just played Canyon City and they will be at regionals. And we beat Canyon City by one team and it was in a tie break. So they definitely are our most challenging opponent, but they're always really fun to play because they do challenge us and they do make us really step up and play our best. So I think that seeing them again at regionals, they'll really want that revenge and we're going to have to really be ready to beat them again. So I think that will definitely be our biggest challenge, but I think we're excited. So um, We're really hoping to send as many girls as possible to state. I think that we have a lot of real shots in our doubles and our singles, honestly, but I think that there's some reality there in actually sending girls to state this year. So um, My favorite memory from tennis was actually last week after the Canyon City game. After we barely pulled off our win, we went to McDonald's and on the bus ride home we were like singing songs and just we got to enjoy some really good quality time together so I think that that was like so much fun because we just pulled through as a team and we were all so excited and even though it was like 10 o'clock at night we were just able to have a good time with each other and so that's been really awesome. It's like the camaraderie off the court too. So Thanks Madison. The ladies are traveling to Pueblo at City Park for regionals and we wish them well. Congratulations to the gentlemen Grizzlyators who closed out their season on Wednesday at the dual meet at Doherty. Although they didn't win, the boys did set 18 PRs at the meet. This year's team was young, but they were able to achieve some great records this season. Coach Wickberg has high hopes for the team next year. In baseball news, our Glads managed to play a soggy game on Wednesday at El Palmar against James Irwin, and their bats were just dry enough to wrangle with the win. In track and field news, our Gladiator teams are on the road today. Teams are headed to Pueblo for the Centennial Invitational at Dutch Clark Stadium and to Canyon City for the Blossom Invite. Best of luck to all our competitors. We'll have results for you on Monday. It's just about time to break out your sombreros for the Pops in the Park concert on Sunday. Check out the music at Paiute Park from 1 to 3 p.m. and hear our award-winning musicians from our WHS band programs. The Sproul Mariachi Band will also be playing some traditional tunes to celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Quincy Brown, a percussionist from the Air Force Academy Band, will be joining the crew to boost the talent pool. So come enjoy some fantastic music, fabulous tacos, and frozen treats from Kona Ice. It's going to be a fiesta. Ay ay ay. For those of you interested in playing football this fall, join Coach Zimmerman in Bowers Gym after school today for about 20 minutes. And Glads, we were able to correct our technical difficulties and scheduling conflicts for this week's segment of Damon's Dose of Health. Take it away, Mr. Damon. Hi guys, you're on with Damon's Dose of Health and today we're going to be talking about tech time and the issues that it creates. First, let's start with the statistics. Statistics show that the average teenager spends about nine hours a day on some form of technology. So what are some of the issues that this creates? Can create sleep problems. The lights emitted from your phone do mess with natural sleep cycle. Attention span. It is now estimated that the average teenager has an attention span of about 8 seconds compared to 12 seconds in the year 2000. Wasted time. With 9 hours a day being spent on technology, that's a whole lot of wasted time that could be used for other productive things. So what are some of the solutions to this issue? One of them is cutting out your screen time before bed. Uh, what I recommend is an hour before bed not looking at your phone and trying to establish a routine that doesn't require your phone. Another one is to strive to be in the moment. It's easy to run to our phone when we're uncomfortable or when we feel like we're in awkward moments, but we should really strive to be in the moment that we're in. Whether that means time with family, friends, or even just by yourself, we're not guaranteed tomorrow, and so it's important that we don't waste the opportunities we have today. I think another important thing to do is set boundaries for yourself. Whether that's a list of things that you need to get done before you allow yourself screen time or allow yourself to be on your phone, make your priorities known and get them done before your time, time on the phone. And finally, and the last tip I have for you is to just become self-aware. Understand your own triggers and the things that cause you to run to your phone for comfort. All right, guys, that is Damon's Dose of Health. I hope you guys all have a great day. Thanks, Mr. Damon. Those are some great tips. Finally, we would like to congratulate three seniors who signed their letters of intent to play college sports in the fall. Mackenzie King will be playing basketball at Northern New Mexico College. Miles Men is signed to run track and cross at Lewis University in Chicago. And Aaliyah Ricketts is headed to the Air Force Academy to run track. We are very proud of you all. That's all we have for you today. We'll be back on Monday with results and scores from this week's matches. 
For now, I'm Isaac Fleet. Now back to the news desk with Jeremiah and Spencer. Have a great weekend. Muchas gracias por esos deportes, Isaac. Glad. Registration for summer credit recovery classes is going on right now, and the deadline to sign up is May 30th. The summer session starts on June 3rd and runs until July 28th with the orientation on June 3rd in the WHS Computer Lab. Check the district website to register or see your counselor. Vamos a la cafeteria para oír que la señora Betsy está preparando para comer en el mediodía. Senora Betsy? Happy Friday, everybody. Today we're having mandarin chicken. I know you love it. Come on down. There'll be plenty. And then on Monday, it's a chicken sandwich. Days are counting down. We need to get these charges paid. Seniors, if you got money on your account, come see me so I can get it back to you before you graduate. Have a great one. See you then. Bye-bye. Muchas gracias, Senora Betsy. Glads, please pay any outstanding lunch charges in the cafeteria or online and stay off conditions. Check Infinite Campus for those outstanding conditions and then get those cleared as soon as possible. Remember everyone, but especially seniors, you do not want to wait until the last minute to clear conditions unless, of course, you like waiting in long lines. Kick off your summer on time. And seniors, you must have your conditions cleared before graduation, so get started now. It's hard to believe, but yearbooks will be distributed next Friday, and if you haven't purchased your yearbook yet, the cost is still only $60. $5. Buy your book in the business office or online at yearbookforever.com. If you wait until next week, you will have to pay $70 and they will only take cash. Muchas gracias por escuchando esta mañana. Yo soy Jeremiah Jones. Y me llamo Spencer Walter. Con sus noticias de KWHS. Que pasen sus fin de semanas muy feliz.